So, uh, this time uh, I want to talk about it in the film. Why do we cause ourselves uh, so much trouble? It has to do with uh, one of the very key principles in meditation. Uh, which means that uh, when <coughs> something is causing you to feel trouble, or something is causing you to feel anxious, or something is causing you to feel threatened, then uh, we kind of tend to develop a habit to accuse the outward things like this thing is guilty of my feeling this this thing is guilty this thing is guilty well in fact like we kind of search for the criminal always like this thing must be guilty why I'm feeling bad is because of this thing because of this thing but th in fact <laughs> From enlightened uh, perspective, it's not like um, the outside things are causing you to feel bad. It's more like um, your reaction to the outward things is causing you suffering. <laughs> it's kind of um, if you get this aha, my reaction to the things that seem to harm me is the key to solution instead of uh, so then instead of starting to blame other people around you like like yeah yeah I'm really sad because this boss at the workplace told me that I'm this and this and this and this and it's because of that boss at the workplace no it's because you of your attitude towards this boss at the workplace so when we start to realize that um, that um, we kind of uh, draw in our energy field like uh, towards ourselves back again, it's not like going this anymore, like accusing other things. It's more like hmm, I myself am guilty, guilty of everything that I do, and then you kind of drop the word to like you don't have to feel bad. It is, it's uh, basically it's just um, like out of balance nervous system. And how do we correct a nerve, nervous system that is uh, out of balance and wavering and things? Mm. One of the main things you can always do is to breathe through your central tube. Like. Okay. Okay. Let's say, like, let's say, like a classic standard example: a teacher at school. Like the children are guilty; they're doing wrong. They're doing wrong. You know. Why don't you stay there? You're wrong. Why don't you stay there? You're doing it wrong. You're doing it all wrong. You're all wrong. But instead, you could do like... Okay, what I want to say to you is that... Is it's kind of... Mm, like, kind of... Um, if you haven't trained your central nerve system, you can uh, tend to be very... Um, stressed about every little thing but the classic thing in meditations is like uh, it's never the fault of the outside things you're feeling it's always uh, it has to do with your own ability to tune in to your core essence and uh, kind of um, change your attitude towards the outward things so instead of uh, what we do we attempt to change every outward 
outward things <laughs> that is upsetting us and instead we could like kind of do it more from our core pers perspective and kind of change hmm okay let's say I'm very ashamed about my sexuality then it's not the fault of the person who I'm going on a date with that the uh, and I'm very ashamed about my sexuality. It's not her fault. It's my inner thing, you know. So I have to deal with the shame that I have about my sexuality, and I don't. I cannot go like she's guilty and we should whatever, you know. It's it's kind of not working that way. is currently working on a movie that kind of shows like um, about the guy who's unable to build a solid uh, relationship with a woman. I could make a stop here, but it's getting way, way too important. When I was um, kind of, um, I was already kind of uh, living my life from, you know, according to Dharma, according to enlightened perspective, following the way, following my heart. And then I still realized that the more stabilized I am, the more in tune I am with myself, like, I don't need anything, I don't need anything, I can be, like, happy in every situation. And this kind of um, peaceful, like, approach, like, um, okay, everybody can see, like, um, this guy doesn't need anything from women, he's a solid individual, and he can handle, like, everything by himself. <laughs> So this kind of uh, the women are suddenly like, ah, finally someone who doesn't want anything from me. Like it's like it's such a beautiful thing. Like, like all these guys are after me. Like they want something from me all the time. And there's this guy and his approach is he doesn't want anything from me. He's happy as I am, you know. You could like imagine the relief when like. Someone finally meets someone who's, who doesn't ask anything from him. Like, this is this is like an enlightened perspective. So the more in tune with myself, the more in peace uh, uh, with myself I was, uh, the easier it became to attract women. It was like I didn't have to do anything. I could just sit in meditation, for example. Or in a company of others, I simply sit, and people want to communicate with me. I don't have to search for them and uh, attempting to communicate with them. I simply am, am there, and I wait, and I meditate, and I clarify the field. I purify the prana field around. And then they simply start to talk with uh, more heartful tunes and... Uh, when I feel that the moment is right, I say something also, and then we communicate on a more warm, heartful level already. Otherwise, uh, people could be like, like, and like all chaotic everywhere around. But then, when I have done some harmonizing, it could be like. smoothly like there's people who say that they can see the heart waves I never see them but I always feel them and I, I think it's for me it's like a, that feeling of a sensitive person's aura or energetic field is more important than seeing this kind of thing so what I used to do when I I never I was never able to play guitar 
but uh, I realized that the very few very simple tunes uh, kind of smoothen the communication between other persons. Let's say there's a woman and man in front of me, and I start to go like this. No, sorry, not like this, but um, like this. And this kind of uh, tune I found is encouraging communication between them. It's very soft and gentle, it's not pressurizing like, like, like kind of like... Like I'm not attempting to gain their attention, I'm attempting to smoothen the communication between them. So it would be like... like taking down the pressure and they can hear that, oh the communication between them is smoothening they're talking they're laughing to each other and you can go like uh, and when I had like this guitar or someone's guitar I only play like with uh, one string or something and this was enough it's like a soft, soft melody, but it, it depends from the depth of your soul where the sound is coming from. If it's coming like you go like ah, whatever, it doesn't have nearly not as the same effect when you really put your full essence into every <coughs> single note, such as like. feel the sound moving through my body, I can feel the sadness, not kind of exiting my body, but I can feel the sadness flowing through my ve veins. Like. And it, it kind of wants to express itself. Mm. It's like um, what I'm targeting or aiming is like um, the depth or the um, more, um, how to say, emotional tones of the soul vibes. Like, um, let's say we can uh, come from different galaxies, okay? And let's say people like the, over here on Earth, generally what they do is like this. Like, never satisfied with this kind of music. I always wanted to go back again. You know the difference <laughs> is uh, the difference in the is in the depth of the emotion. Like, okay. And when you kind of develop music, you develop your emotional body and you start to live a more heartful, more emotionally tuned in life because you will live with the music that you create. It's like a standard thing. Every artist, I think, uh, kind of lives uh, the, the thing that she or she creates. And when you come to Zen masters or uh, like people who practice Zen, the art of uh, being uh, creatively mindful in every moment, they kind of tend to um, treat each moment in their lives as a beautiful, art, artful moment. Kind of how this person is coming in, how do I react to him? You know, how to use my, you know, and when you realize that 
the, what's the most necessary on this planet at the moment. You would, I would say, uh, it would be um, a motherly, heartful, warm, welcoming tone that's providing emotional safe space. So I'm going to train my voice to be able to speak uh, in a way that uh, it would comfort others so that they would feel more at home. Uh, it's just like, um, yeah, but do, do you know that um, <laughs> this, this kind of things happen all around the place? And, uh, and, uh, yeah, I also once did something like this, you know, so it's not about the words, it's about the emotional tone and it's about relaxing, letting go of everything. It's, it doesn't have any importance, uh, what I'm saying. It's kind of, uh, it only has the importance of releasing this kind of shit that, do you know, everybody crashed down with the plane. But you could say, like, yeah, but you know, that, uh, there's this kind of thing moving throughout the universe. And so it's kind of relaxing, allowing 